This is Mike with Door and Lock Tips. And we're talking about Lishi, the next in line. It's the S123 Everest C123. And it is a great pick, but it is super delicate. I don't know guy. by now, we're talking about Schlag, but not about the padlock. <laughs> when I started this video adventure on Schlag Everest cylinders, I never dreamed how hard this really was going to be to do. It's extremely hard. First of all, I broke one of these $100 leashy picks. I am so sick. This thing is, is binding when you're turning. I think I'm open, but I can't be sure. Oh, I, I picked it to control. I got a great deal from Locksmith Keyless on the 4th of July sale. So I got them for maybe around 45% off. So I bought two of these bad boys. These are so easy to break as to not hardly believe it. They don't like to go in the, the uh, warding of the cylinder. They just don't. I thought it was maybe the pick, but it's really, they just don't like to go in. They get about that far and they don't go in. You gotta force them. These are Lishi Original S123 forward slash C123. And it's the next one on my list, but I do say this. If you don't lubricate your cylinders, these Everest cylinders, the S and the C, one, two, threes, and you don't make up some special concoction like I've kind of achieved now. I think it's the gold standard for lock picking, tri-flow, and labs, lab lube, mix together, whip them together. But I do have a video how you mix them together. I think it's a minute and 25 seconds. It's worth the watch. You suck them up in this little syringe thing. But if you don't do that, you're probably not gonna be able to pick this lock with Leashy's pick because it just doesn't wanna go in. These are brand new cylinders. I've got, I got too many of them, okay? Too many because I don't really do schlag out there in the wild. It's just such a big animal. Oh, I wish it wasn't so huge, but it is, and it's like twice as expensive as my Medico state-of-the-art good stuff. I just don't want to get involved in it. But what the rabbit hole that I had to climb down for this. Ah, I'm just overwhelmed. But you want to see the picking, I'm sure, but. I have different clamps now, <laughs> different ways of doing it because these things are hard to show. This is just a cylinder. It's, you don't take this one apart like the rest of them. There's so many flavors. It's like going to an ice cream parlor and you can just scoop in and get another color and another color. And each one of them is $100. So I have $600 in cylinders. I have $300 in picks, uh, what, maybe $500 in clamps, good clamp ideas, and they're all for your viewing pleasure. So let's get into picking this cylinder. I'm hoping it'll be easy. I didn't have much success with the old one. I broke the pick, colored it red, because I just can't get rid of this pick. I love it, it's too expensive. I'm thinking maybe I didn't break it, but yeah, I did. I bent it. It bends real easy. Sad. So I colored it red so I won't get mixed up. I guess I'll just keep it here so I can have bragging rights that I snapped one of these in a day. So if you go at these crazy and you start pushing like you are gonna push with your KW1 or SC1, or even the best leashy pick for best cylinders. If you push like that with this one, I mean, look at no tension on it. 
and I can bend it just like that. This thing is delicate. So let's see how it performs. I've got another intro to this video. I may or may not use it, I'm not quite sure. I made an entire intro and I said how simple it was to doing this and then I broke it. The adventure began with finding out how, how to do these cylinders. Let's get into the video. I wish I could be more jazzed up, enthusiastic over this. <laughs> I might not be able to pick it. We'll give it a try though. Oh, by the way, this is Mike with Door and Lock Tips. And we're talking about Lishi, the next in line. It's the S123 Everest C123. And it is a great pick, but it is super delicate, guys. Look at it, it's jammed in there. And this is brand new with great lubricant on it. And that's a key and knob Everest. So I have six flavors. We're gonna pick them and see if I can do it. Hey guys, I discovered why the picks are jamming. I got an inserted video, stay for it. Here's the Lishi. Wonderful pick, very delicate. For Schlage S. 123C123. And this is a really highly sought after pick. The price is about $95. Unless you get a great sale, I did $65 a piece. So there's the pick. And it's hard to get it in and out. That's why I didn't take it out of the cylinder. Let's see if I can get it out easy. There's the pick. Very delicate. I think I've said that a few times, but I mean it. Look at how I can bend this pick. I don't know how they machined it that small. They've got great equipment to build this. And if you bend the pick inside, you're not gonna break this open to replace the pick. They have it all welded in place. I wish they had come up with another idea to do that. They probably could have, but then they couldn't have sold more picks and the tips that go in them. So you can't get that out. Look how easy it is to bend. I'm bending it with my finger. Tension is too hard. And you try pushing up on this bad boy, you will bend the pick. It's highly sought after though. If you go into a building and they have Everest, you can pick your way through. We'll see how I do. Brand new cylinders. Sneak peek. I'm gonna show you just how to fix your leashy picks that are bad from the factory. Yeah. Six, got a little, there we go, look it. And we got it picked to control, but wow, what a difference. I mean, it's grueling, grueling. Stay till the end. Please hit that like button. So sand your picks. Look at how nice that comes out. Sand your S123C123 Leashy pick. Here's my Leashy tool case. It's really nice. $100 worth of heaven. You can get it on sale, I think, $65. And inside, are going to be all your leashy tools parts and pieces and i had to make another slot for a one two three schlage everest cylinder pick by leashy so here's a brand new one never touched boy i better be careful with these things just putting in that case i could bend it look at this See that metal? Boy, is that thin. So you gotta kinda shove it in. But you're gonna need to have a case. They're just too delicate. Like I say, guys, I had terrible trouble until I sand this special Schlage Everest pick. 
It's not like the rest of them. Stay tuned. If you drop the lid too fast, you'll knock the top ones out. That's my tip for the day. Don't close it too fast. I wish they could have this so the name is never upside down. If you don't know by now, we're talking about Schlage, but not about the padlock. <laughs> we're talking about Leashy Picks picking the Schlage Everest, which I must say is wonderful. Very difficult to pick, at least with a leashy. It's even hard to get a key in. I find that kind of annoying. All right, there's the key. There's the bidding, 785474. So there's the key. That's an Everest, and it's a C. It's so picking a C flavor of this and what I've done is I've made a cheat sheet so I know just how to pick this thing and that has not helped at all but we'll see if it does this time I have lubricated these and run a key in there 25 to 50 times just a blank key back and forth back and forth and I use my special lube, TriFlow, mixed together with Labs, Lab Lube. Beautiful stuff. Here's the bad pick, I wanna cry. What I did is I just bent the tip. That's all I did. I bent the tip. And I've tried bending it back and I bent this and I ruined this thing. So that's our sad day right there. This is the good day, 65 bucks. Get them on sale. It may never be that cheap again, who knows. There it is. All right, let's put this in. Now, when you do this, you gotta be so careful. It's lubed extremely well. So now, what's the problem is the tip is a little wider than the center. I'm sure they discovered that when they were making. I have to insert this video. I'm shooting this way after the fact, couple days in fact. Clean these picks up so that I can show you exactly what's wrong. Because there is something wrong with these picks. Even though they're brand new, they're just manufactured incorrectly. But. Most guys wouldn't know this unless they own some measuring equipment, which I highly suggest if you're a locksmith, you better invest in the best Michi Toyo veneer caliper, six inch long. These are best in the world. Super indestructible. They're carbide tipped on both ears of these things. I mean, we're talking great Michi Toyo. They're brand new, by the way. Never dropped. <laughs> That's kind of important. Now, I'll get to what I'm trying to show you. Let's clean this up. I got my lock lube all over it. And I want to get super accurate measurements. Because that's really what they didn't do at the factory. I mean, what a great pick. And I'm not going to say these are junk, but boy, <laughs> they pretty much make it difficult. So we get this stuff out of here. A, a veneer caliper. We're going to put it right on this, get some measurements. So that in the middle of the pick is about 107. So that's a 107 thousandths. Now on the very end where they weld it together, it's 108, but I sanded that down. So I sanded like a madman all this down. And I may have even actually ruined the pick, but maybe not. Can't use it anyway, because it's just too thick. 
So that's 107 thousandths, okay? Now let's measure this one. This one I did not play with too much. I sanded on it. And it was at 110, okay? Really, it's at about 110. But it's only at the tip of this pick. It's where they welded it together, guys, in the back here. And I hope I can give it justice showing you what's going on. So very tip of the pick. Right there. They've got some weld marks. And that's what has happened. They're welding it right here. Right on that super thin area. And they got a, like a bump. So that bump is what gets stuck in the keyway of that cylinder. So when you get it in there, trying to get it down inside, it jams about halfway, about right there. And I've got to tell you, that's bad. So it's jamming. So I've sanded like crazy with my sanding plate. Now let's measure a regular key. Now these keys are kind of weird. They have this sidebar set up where they put a slot, they mill a slot down the key. So they're even strange. And when you're cutting them, you gotta use a spacer that you slide right inside that slot so that when you clamp down with your key machine, you don't bend this so there's a lot of variables going on here but look at here this really is the answer when you put it veneer caliper the veneer caliper is around 105 okay that's just what it is but it varies I can well 105 on this key I can get a 106 out of it so see, we're at what, one, one, eight, two thousandths. You may think that's not bad, but when you push that little thin thing down inside the keyway, this key's about the same. I was having them bigger, actually. So let's try these. No. So they're right around 105. I had a couple that were a little bigger, but 105. So if this doesn't make sense to you, that this is why this is happening, we're at 108, right there. Now when you're in here, you're about 107. So you're never gonna get this pick to be the right size. You just never will, but when the tip is sticking out. I mean, that's terrible. See that? See that little teeny weld? You see it? See where that little spot is? It's right there. They welded it right there, right on that edge. And that just wrecks it. Hopefully this has been helpful. I highly suggest you get out your sanding block that you're going to get from Amazon. You need this little tool just to have as a like a bench block. I mean, everybody's got to have something, some hunk of steel. And this is all nicely encased in rubber. Isn't that nice? So it's not too thick, but it's just thick enough. And it's ground flat. That's what I'm trying to get at. Now I have 800 grit, and then I have 600 grit. So I'm going to go with the 600 grit. If I could just get this to be a little flatter so that that weld is off of there. I spent time the other day doing it, but I was picking that day. So I'm gonna try, guys, not to wreck this pick. These are 100 bucks a piece. And I just bought them. They've just only been used once. 
So get your tip back so that you're not sanding your tip off because that, that could extend over the edge and you could take off that little corner of your tip. If you got any suggestions, I wish I knew them. I guess if I had a surface grinder. And just take your 600 grit. I was using eight in the rest of the video. 800 grit. Maybe I need six. It just needs to come off. But you can spend all day with 800 grit. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm probably wrecking this pick. I just hate to say that out loud. Oh, man. The bean counter. He's going to get after me for blowing money on these picks. Just for no reason other than to show a video. Please hit that like button. I mean, if you really like these videos... Because this is, what, $200? I'm, I'm sanding on this one. That's 100 bucks, And the other one's 100 It's $200 of brand new picks I'm experimenting with. Let's see if I got it down any. No. Well, maybe. Maybe a thousandth. I thought it was at 107. And I don't want to wreck the look of this because the pick is beautiful. I mean, they even kind of like sandblasted the thing. Has a finish to it that maybe a bead, bead finish, glass bead sandblasting. I think that's how they did it. Well, I think I got that weld off of there. Let's take a look. I think I did. And it's still the whole tip. The whole tip is one thousandths bigger than the, well, I don't know. I can bend this pick real easy just by pressing a little harder on yeah, it's 106 there it's varying in width let's see if I can get it in the key way oh oh my wow 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 guys Look at how simple this is going in and out. A little tight right there. Oh! Now watch. I'll take one that I have not sanded on. Barely sanded on. Let's put it that way. Jammed right there. I'm jammed. We're talking major jam, guys. I mean, I'm going to bend it. So let's sand it. Hey, maybe they got a tip for you. I was looking for a tip in this video. You know, you got to have something. Let's see. I don't want to get that. See that pick sticking down? I do not want to sand off that because <laughs> that's what pushes on the pins. And it wraps around this edge. See, when you push this, it wraps around the edge. Even way down there. All right, let's try not to wreck it, Mike. Oh, man. Yeah, it's all on the tip. See, it's it's sandy right here on the tip. Six hundred grit. Six hundred grit. I think this is the way to fly. And please hit that like button, guys. I need the uh, algorithm to say. Mm, I'm going to play Mike's videos to the masses. Look at that. That tip really is the culprit.
I'm messing with a hundred bucks and standing on it brand new. Well, you guys probably know about this. When you get new picks, I guess you guys sand them and play around with them. Tone off all the sharp edges. Well, this is what's happening here. This is, this is our problem. Who would ever known this? I mean, if you only bought one pick, which I have three now, right? If you only bought one, you would think that you had the problem or your cylinders had the problem, but I have experimented with, what, six cylinders in this video? And they all are tight. Ooh, ooh, come on, Mike, don't wreck it. Don't wreck that pick. Let me see if I can get this a little faster. You know, I want to go over the grinder and grind on it. That would be not good. I can see you guys now. You're saying, why don't you just go over to your, your bench grinder, even though I got a really killer bench grinder. But if you go over there and do that, you probably not like life anymore. You'll say, hmm, there goes $100. Can we really afford a $100 waste? Now this one is not sanding on that weld as well. See this weld? Right there. I'm more sanding on this edge here. I don't want to do that. I don't think I'm tipped. You know, that might be high. That may, might be my high point. If I had a surface grinder, I could tell in a second. Lay this down on a mag base. And one swipe across there and have it sling across the room. <laughs> oh, boy. I cracked myself up. Some of you know what I'm talking about. No. It's kind of weird. Let's see if I can get it into the cylinder better. Way better, guys. Look at that. Oh, come on. I don't hope I don't have to do a repeat of this picking adventure. Let's see if it goes. You know what? They go down the opening better. You know what's happened? When you shove that in there and it's cocked sideways, it bends that little channel and doesn't allow the pick to slide properly. Thanks a lot, Leashy. Man. Maybe you guys have had other Leashy picks that you had to do this to. I don't know. I've never had to do it. Please leave a comment if you've had to sand on their leashy picks. Not, I know you do it on your regular picks. Just to get them beautiful. That's better. That's better. I had that lubricant on there and I don't think it was allowing me to sand. It was just so slippery. Of course, guys do put oil on, <laughs> on sanding blocks, don't they? I, I don't know what I'm talking about, it sounds like. All right, I think I did it. Oh, boy. This is so thin. There is a part so thin on this guy. Whoa. All right, I'm not going anymore. Let's see if I can clean it up and just see if it works better. You should have some odorless paint thinner in your room, your pinning room, because you're going to run into it where you need it. Absolutely no odor in that. 
let's take a look here. I just had to break into the video and show you this. I thought, I'm gonna have to go shoot this again. Stick this in here. That is so much easier. I couldn't even move it in there, guys. That's way cool. We're talking way cool. Let's see if it goes in here. It pays to have a few cylinders to experiment on. Look at that. This one's the tightest of the bunch. Let's try the other pick. Now these are brand new picks, okay? Only use one time. Come on. See, it's not wanting to seat. It's way out. Let's do what I was trying in the video. Put that tip way at the end. Yeah, you know what? Maybe that's how we're going to have to do it on this one. It's still tight, but it's nothing like before. So let's see if I can even do any picking here. Nothing on six. Got a nice click on five. Yeah, now it's sliding in here better, guys. Nothing on four. Zero on three. Oh. little lateral movement on this. Got a nice click on two. Remember, you can hardly push on this thing. If you put too much tension. There we go. Got a nice click on one. Back to six, nothing on six. Okay, I got, I'm seated right there, I think. Right there on five. Maybe four is right there. Two, I believe, is already set. One and two set. Three is all springs. There, we've got to click on four. So one, two, and four are set. Nothing on three. Five feels set. Got a nice click on six. So let's go back to four. Four is good. Hey, you know what? Got a beautiful click on three. Barely any tension. This is so much better. I couldn't even move the pick in here before, remember? Well, you're going to see. Maybe I'm kind of jumping in here. Six got a little. There we go. Look at it. And we got it picked to control. But wow, what a difference. I mean, it's grueling, grueling. Stay till the end. Please hit that like button. So sand your picks. Look at how nice that comes out. Sand your S123C123 leashy picks. Brand new out of the box. Sand that weld. I guess I'll look for that problem. Maybe the rest of them, the rest of my beautiful US picks have a problem like that. I don't know. I never felt anything like this. I want to even sand further on this pick. So let's get back to the video. 
thanks for letting me go off camera here. Well, not really, but let me go away from this to see what's really going on. That when they were making it. And look at that delicate pick. Whoa. You gotta be super careful here. All right, and these picks want a round hole on the face of these cylinders. Let's see if I can get a cylinder up here to show you what I'm talking about. See that round hole? That's their idea of centering the key in. All right, I think I'm in, but. This is, all right, I'm started in. See how hard that is? I think you probably wanna take your fingers up here. I've had three picks, so it's not the picks design, it's just, they had to cut it really tight. All right, now, do not want to bend this. Okay, I got it. I got it seated. See that? Seated right there. I think that's probably the best you're going to get to see this thing. I had to tip this head way over. Let's give it a shot. I'm all the way in. I'm gonna put ever so slight tension because even without tension, these do not wanna travel up and down the chambers very easy. Well, I got it seated good. And tons of lubricant. I mean, I really spent a long time lubricating these. A good uh, half a vial at least that much going down into the cylinder and working the key in. Don't be bashful. You're not gonna hurt anything. Light tension. Let's, let's maybe push my finger on it. All springs on six. Got a click on five. Boy, when it was bent, it wouldn't do nothing. All springs on four. I got ever so light tension there, guys. Just wanted to jump in here. The rest of the video, I have not sanded the picks. Got a nice click on two. See what this particular pick is super light. Super light, guys. Oh. Well... It's master pinned, so I got one of those master pin wafers. I just picked that to one of the master pin wafers. All right, that's there. Nothing on three, four's going. Got a pick on four. Got a little pick on five. No, maybe, maybe six is picked. Let's go back to four. Nothing on four. I feel it popping in and out. Nothing on two. All right, these are all picked. Maybe five. Two go back. I got pick on five. Hey, and the tension bar went. Nothing on six. Maybe four. Nothing on three. Nothing on two. Well, one feels picked. Two feels picked. 
nothing on three, <laughs> four, five is picked. Nothing on six. All right, let's look at our numbers. Here's the numbers. I'm going to just look at them and see what we got so far. Number one should be a four. It is. Uh, number two chamber should be a seven. It is. Let's see. Yes, it is. Number three should be a four. There's nothing on four, or on three, I mean. Fourth chamber should be a five. Nothing on five. The fifth chamber should be an eight. It's overpicked. Gotta start over. That eight, that number eight is probably what's killing me on these. I think I've got an, uh, no, I don't have an eight in everything, but pretty close. So I was pushing that way, we're gonna pull this way. And then we're gonna to have to spin it because honestly, the lock doesn't pick that way. So we got an HPC spinner, we'll use that. Here we go. Nice click on six. Good click on, you know, I'm way down too far. Let's start over. I'm not even gonna touch the fifth chamber. Got a nice click on six. Nice, click on four. You gotta lighten up on the tension. Now, three's not binding at all. Now there's two. Gotta click on one. Nothing on two. Three's binding. Okay, got three picked, I think. Yeah, it's right at four. And number four should be at a five. And this little darling is right at the top. And the next one, well, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. This is a seven. So that's correct. Let me see if I Nope, so we're picked there, we're picked there. I think number three is that problem. Picked on two, picked on one. They're all gonna need a little bouncing. This two is not really binding. Three was set, four was set. All right, number five should be a five. And I think it is. But five should be an eight. It's right at the top. It shouldn't do nothing there, really. Six is picked. Five is picked. Four. You know, I went through these one time, and it was so simple, I couldn't believe it. There. I have a spool pin in here, I don't remember them, but... We turned. Let's see which one needs to go.
You know, number two is supposed to be a seven, and it is. The one chamber is supposed to be a four, and it is. It's dead on. This little bad boy. Little past, past a four. Oh, I hope I haven't met my match on this. Let's try playing around with six and five. No. Nope. See, it's so bound in there. This pick that it doesn't want to give me the feel I need to feel. Look at how tight that is. I mean, it's like crazy tight, guys. All right, let's try it again. Go up this time. Nothing on six. Got to click on five, right at eight. Nothing on four. Nothing on three. Nice click on two. Got to click on one. Two and one are set, I think. Three is nothing. Four is all springs. Got set on five. And six. I hate to add more tension, but I'm going to do it. Well, see, I got my pick stuck. I think what it wants to do is twist that pick. Nothing on three. <laughs> See how frustrating? We'll go back. Boy, the seven and eight combinations killing me on this thing. All right, we got to click. We got to click on five. That is a good thing, guys, because that's an eight. Click on six. Beautiful feel on four. Got to click on three. Heard a pin go back. Nothing on two, nothing on one, nothing on two. Click on three, nothing on four, five is done, got to click on six, come on baby, <laughs> nothing on six. Five is set. Four is set. There we go. Hey, you know what's happening? Some way, guys, this thing is is binding when you're turning. I think I'm open, but I can't be sure. Oh, I I picked it to control. So if I picked it to control, that means I could have repinned this just by shimming it. Well, that's kind of cool. So I could literally take cylinders out in a facility by just reading this key. Control would be, let's see what 
the deepest cut would be probably a five exactly. And then it would be a seven. It would be a five. Then it would be a four. It would be a seven and a two, I guess. And that must be it. Let's see if I got a control key here. Control, that's the master. There's the control. And I did not, I did not figure out what the control key was cut at. So anyway, that's how you figure out the depths for your cuts. Well, cool. I got it open to control. I'm going to say okay with that, all right? We're not, we're not going to try to pick this again. It's too boring. I'm tired of this lock. It was very hard to even set up in the vise. So boring. Let's get this thing out of here. Goodbye to you. All right, let's set this up. I bought a whole bunch of more clamps. This one's by Panavice themselves. I wanted to see if it was gonna help. Here's our keys we're using today. It's the 12th on the list. It's an Everest six pin S123 forward slash C123. Out of this entire list, we're down to number 12 for the USA. That's a good thing. So let's pick another cylinder. Get this key out of here. Now notice all the lube I've got in there. We're like major lubed. And it turns beautifully smooth. So we're major lubed. We're, which key are we on? eBay one. I don't think I wrote down the penny on this one. No, I didn't. Let's push this in. Get about that far and they don't want to go any further. Oh, I feel like I'm breaking it. I do not want to break it. You know, I'm gun shy now. That's what happened. Okay. Let's try picking it. Here we go. I can pick this either direction. Very slight pressure on it. And the pick wants to jam all the way through, just so you know. Nothing on six. <laughs> Can't get it to five. This is a brand new pick. There's nothing wrong with this pick. And there's nothing wrong with that cylinder. It's brand new. All right, so nothing on five. Nothing on four, and the cylinder's totally lubed. Little click on three. Wow. All the way seated, and it's still terrible. Got to click on two. Oh, you know what this is? I remember what this cylinder is. It is... <laughs> it's going to be tough. You ever hear of a construction core? I believe this is a construction core. Oh, no, I'm, I'm wrong. Look at that. There's all the cuts. Back to six. Oh, got to click on six. Okay. 
I don't know, five maybe. Boy, you guys picking these with hand picks, I bet you go through terrible torture. Nothing on four, really. Got to fly around here. Oh, man. I could destroy myself trying to kill that fly. Okay, I got to click on one, but I had to let several pins go back. Maybe. Click on four. Click on five. I'm glad when this happens. Now that well, that won't go. There we go. Got to click on six, and I felt the tension bar go that way. We'll say five is set. Four looks set. Got to click on three. Got a nice click on too. Hey, could this possibly be about ready to open? All right, let's go back to six. Okay, this is brand new. How can I mark this? Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to figure this out. The tip's cut in such a way that I wanted to get it right at the tip there. So that's 109.5. This is One eleven. Do I have the right pick? Yep, there's a difference in that. One oh nine. One eleven. One ten five. Man, I might need to take some sandpaper. See what's going there? Right here. I bet you I need to take some sandpaper to it. Look at that fly. I gotta kill this fly. Uh, maybe you're having fun watching the fly. <laughs> I didn't even need to sand this. Wow. So we'll stick that thing over there. Here's our brand new one. Let's see if it goes in better. Oh, it went right in. Look at that. Oh, man. Let's see something here kind of mad about this. Yeah, it's definitely got a burr up here. These aren't going to be easy to sand. It's where they welded it. I can see it. There's definitely a burr on the weld. You see that? See the burr up there? Right here, there's a high spot where they welded it. So how would I do this? Oh, I think I know how. I need a honing stone. That's what I need. I need a honing stone. But we'll 
we'll take the life's next best. I don't like that sandpaper. Okay, here's 800 grit. Let's see if we can fix this thing. Wow. I, you know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to get the, in there. Maybe. Maybe like this. Yeah, I think I am getting it. You got to take up a few thousandths. It's definitely a problem right here at the tip. I bet you my other pick was the same way and I I bent it trying to get it in. I had no reference points. Wow. All right, let's see. I'm not going to hurt anything doing this. Come on, Leashy. Do a better job. Test out your picks. These are hundred dollars a piece. They better go in, right? Oh boy, if I ruin this. Well, it's worthless now anyway. Let's see if that helped. That new pick's good. See if I ruin this. Die, fly. Got him. Got the fly. He's dead. All right, let's see if I can get this in. You guys see that? You know, when you buy new picks, you guys got to sand them too. You can hear it. Oh, this is the broken one. <laughs> got to get that out of there. You know, I think I was saying it on the wrong pick. Was I? We'll try it again. I definitely think the tip is high, and this must ha be higher. Let me just see something here. Is it flat across the bottom? Yeah, it is. Need to go work at a leashy store. They know they got this problem. I don't think they really care. This guy's making so much money. He's like, ah. This is definitely 800 grit. I can't believe I'm doing this to a new pick.
see if it goes in there. I don't want to take too much off. Okay. Better. That's a lot better. A lot better. All right, so let's let's try it. Let's try it totally. See, it's at the tip. See, it's hitting at the tip. See that sandpaper? It's at the tip. Eight hundred grit doesn't take off that much. Just so you know. I mean, you can sand on a car. I don't think I have sixteen hundred grit. Easy. Second sand is eight, I think. I'm just babbling now. I think I got it better. Let's see. Trial and error here. Well, we definitely got binding steel. I can feel it. And if I said, hey, you know, your picks are junk, they'd say, hey, you know, you bought it. Yeah, I can't even get it in. Binding. They must know. You're not getting one out of one. Not in this pick. They should have sent that back as a reject. I'm just thinking I'm ruining it now. $100 and I have never even picked anything with it. Well, 95 but by the time, or by the time you send in uh, the shipping price, well, I think I got free shipping. So I bought two of these for sixty-five bucks. Let's get real here, sixty-five bucks, and it was free shipping. Anything over one hundred and twenty or something. Look at that! I could snip <laughs> that pick off. It probably won't fix this pick.
All right, let's see if I fix it. If I didn't, I, I don't have any solution. I can't get it in. Let's see if I can get it in with without it being in there. It might be the whole tip. Whoa. Try pushing this tip in down there. There you go. All right, you got to start the pick all the way in down here, not back. If you hold it back, it's not working. Tip of the day start it way in here, sand that front weld off. Oh, man. I guarantee it's still too fat down there. How do you guys feel about buying a pick that's not right? Would you send it back? Would you say your pick's junk, it won't even go in? I mean, I don't know how to do that. I've never had success sending anything back in the lock, locksmith world. There we go. So start it all the way down. Don't bend around on these picks. Try sanding. I ruined one, as you know. Well, let's see if I can pick this lock. Maybe five. Two, click on two, or on three. Oh, I'm really getting really upset. This is terrible. Maybe. You can't get this pick in and out. Look at, I can't move the pick. It doesn't, and this is a brand new pick. Let's try the bad boy I sanded. Yep, they're all doing the same exact thing. Nothing. Nothing. So you're not going to pick them counterclockwise. Nothing on six. Got to click on five. <laughs> Look at that. No tension is stuck down there. <sighs> Could it be that these picks are all machined wrong? What if the place is right there? I'm just guessing now. 
They would never do this. I can't pull the pick out. Stuck. Do I have any more? One more. And then I, I say it can't be done. Not with the leashies. So maybe I'm going to tell you to save your money. Try it with just regular picks. All right, we'll try this one now. Nothing on that. Oh, you know what this is. I think this is zero bit. Let's let's just check it just for fun. See if it's zero. Nope. Okay, it's not zero. Not that one. There it is. All right, so there's the cuts. Try it again. Nothing on all those. Nothing on three. Hey, gotta click on two. Gotta click on one, two. Gotta click on three. Four set. Uh, I heard some go back. Five set. Maybe six. Three is definitely there. All right, well, can't get it that way. Let's try it the other way. Six. Got a good click. Got a good click on five. Got a nice click on four. Beautiful. I felt it. Maybe three's right there. Nothing on two and nothing on one. Got a nice click on five. Four feels done. Three feels done. Two feels right there. Ooh, so it's... I don't know where it's at. Can't feel anything. Well, you guys at least will know you can't do it. I mean, I could probably spend five hours and just keep doing take after take until finally I got one and say, oh, I got it. I'm telling you real life here. And I work with these. This, this is not happening. I would drill this so fast. One and two, beautiful. Maybe on three. Maybe on four. Got a nice click on five. Look at that. Click on six. Five's done. Four's done. I 
Uh, let's start over. Let me look at this key. Okay, here here's the marks. Here's the numbers. All right. This should be a four way back here. It is. You got to overpick quite considerably, at least two depths. This is how much this is springing. All right, the second one is supposed to be a seven. It is. I'm having trouble seeing that. All right, next one is a four. Nothing on that, but it might be right there right now. It's it's on a four right there. The next one is supposed to be a five. And it is. And then an eight. That, that's our deal with the eights and sevens. Nothing. Nothing working on that. on two. We know that's supposed to be eight and we're all the way down to a three. This is mastered. All right, so got to click on five, click on four now. Got a nice click on two. Got to click on one. Come on, just open for the crowd. Click on two. Click on six. I have zero movement going on. It's as if the thing is just super glued in there. Alright, let's try another pick. Try the pick I sanded. Six. Nothing on five. Got to click on four. Nothing on three. Got to click on two. Click on one. Click on six. Now I let you know why this is happening. The pick is too wide at the tip. That's what's going on. So don't pitch these in the trash. They've got to be sanded. I'll have a future video on making these perfect. failed all right i don't know maybe you guys can tell me what's going on 
Thank you for subscribing. Oh, maybe, maybe wait. We got one more. Let's see if I can get through this nasty rotten. All right, here we go. Nice click on six, five is still there, still a jump over that. Click on five, still a jump on four here. Nice click on four. It's like you catch the pins by surprise and they, I can't even get this thing to come out. Wow, that's three different shear levels. Click on two. Click on one. Well, evidently, <laughs> I can pick it to to that. I can't pick it to regular the regular cuts. All right. Well, at least I got one open to shear line. The rest I can't get. Can't even get a key into them. This is the key. There's the cuts. There's so many sevens and eights. Really put the leashy on notice. Put a bunch of seven and eights in there. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's a great show. My finger hurts. And we'll have more door and lock tips like this coming your way in the future. The Leashy S123 for Schlag Everest C123. Please stay tuned. Hit that like button, please. Oh, hit the like button.